this this will be part two um the setup of a genie surge protector with two usb ports we're going to see if they work together maybe they've updated them because that port is a little bit different first you're going to going to want to download the app this is for android um, iphone may have the same icon or they change the color every now and then they've kept this one the same for quite a while last update was november 11th they do put out a lot of updates about once a month it's kind of nice because it's not a company that's just dropping support you want to download that i'm going to click open make an account so you don't have any problems these are the ones i already have and my internet is going to shut off in two minutes it says um these are all the ones i already have i use genie a lot i like them i like their price and uh they're very reliable i have had some go bad but i put mine through a lot i'm always telling it to uh do stuff so um you're gonna want to plug it in this does not have an angled plug the three one which is right here three it's a cute little thing um it has a sideways plug and it's way down over there somewhere. I'm gonna use another genie to plug into this genie. The light comes on. I'm sure it has a second color as that one has two colors, green and blue. It's kind of hard to see on there. And it's blinking very faintly. If it's not blinking in the instructions, it will tell you how to do it, which I'm gonna go over them real quick. Um, if you want to read this, pause it on this pause it on the video to to read it because I can't sit here and read it all to you. You want to make sure you're on the Wi-Fi on your phone that you want it connected to. Some people have second internet. I run a couple internets in my house because I'm a trucker and I take a uh, take a hot spot on the road with me but that's most reliable one so I always connect it to it so when you see my password um, unless you find me on the road you're not gonna be able to hack me there is the one guide here's the other one it's a little bit different Google Alexa Cortana which is new I'm sure Google will come out with a pixel pixel something um, make sure you get the Google app if that's what you're using. If you're using Alexa, who knows what you get because I've tried to help people out with Alexa setting up smart plugs to run like a lamp in their living room and uh, no success. There's the Alexa. You have to go to skills, which don't even make sense. Alexa has skills to unlock stuff. How, to, how about just making it, you basically got to make it for a child so we can all figure it out. Again, just pause it on the page that you want and read it. Um, zoom up on a picture, screenshot it, and zoom up if you want to see something really close. That's kind of hard to read. Connect. And Genie. I think that's the last page. Okay, so we went over the manual there. And again, that's the one. It's on sale for $24. Normal $34. I don't think it says anything that we don't already know. Internet's a bit slow. Oh, it shut off, didn't it? Yeah, I forgot I just said shutting off. Okay, so we want to go back to that app and set it up. Um, again, it is blinking. Make sure it's blinking. It has two different blinks on it. I don't quite understand all that. But you want to push plus sign up at the top right. One near vite, near die, near. There's one close. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to click cancel, and here's all the different devices you can hook up. Um, I did have an LED smart strip that was Govi brand, and I tried to connect it to this um, app, and it did not work. Uh, I know some light bulbs can connect through different apps, but this one uh, is quite picky sometimes. Um, we have a smart power at the top left. Um, we are using... The wrong Wi-Fi. We're gonna have to switch over to mine are very provocative. And we're gonna try to connect it before the internet goes out.
Come on, baby, connect. The flashing quit, but I'm not going to switch over to my camera just in case it airs out. Okay, I'm going to call it computer desk. It's going under my desk and that just shut off my internet there. Um, I'm not going to put it in an area yet. Um, that's a totally different picture. Um, that one is the same as the non-battery strip. It's the same strip, has a totally different picture it's not going to connect now because the internet just went out but you got quick actions one two three four and they're all named switch one two three right now we're going to wait for the internet to come back on in my house but in the meantime i can show you the manual way say the internet just went out that light goes out this one does not go out it stays on um, you can manually do this one with the little button right here um, this one also looks like the manual button you can hit that right there um, there's Five lights here. Them should come on. Five. There's only four. Yeah, four. There's four. You hit that. Oh, you can barely see it. Okay, see they're on. You tap this. They're off. Now my internet just kicked back on, so you had a power outage. That should kick back on and connect pretty soon. This one should be flashing. I don't think it's really realized it yet. My internet goes down for one minute and then kicks back on to reset everything. Um, but that kicks on all of them, not just one, all of them. And I'm sure that is on two. It does not have a light around it. Um, I don't have anything we can plug in to test it. What an awful video. Here, I'm going to put you guys down for a second. Pause this video. Okay. So the internet came back on. Everything's up and working. Um, some weird things happened in that little amount of time. The this is a different type of search protector than what I thought it was. Um, this seems to always be powered on. It's running over. It's running over here and running my strip light, and it's see it went back to being solid. Um, it's always on. I don't quite like that. It didn't used to be that way. So I'll show you it manually turns on. And you can't really see that light because that my choice of let's test something is pretty bright. But even though I shut it off and all them lights are off, this is still on. And it didn't used to be that way. Um, remember that top one? Let's rename it again. It didn't save because the internet went out. Um, name may not be my desk one anymore because it does not allow you to shut them off desk desk it's just called desk i don't know what i called it last time it's called desk um, online notifications when it goes out i have that turned on because my internet is so junk tap, tap to run automation the settings under here you can let's name one okay switch Two is light. Now I'm not going to plug something into each one, but you can name it light. And then you can click on light, and in one minute turn on my light. You wait a minute, there it starts counting down. You can do up to 24 hours on or off. Right there in the middle I could have made it so it shuts off. You can set up um, scenes different days of the week power off or on or cancel different times of the day now it goes based off your phone that you're using not your location of your device i travel a lot and um five o'clock when i go east or west um five o'clock is then six o'clock and it really gets messed up um then you come back out here it says we'll be on in one minute um we could sit here for that minute um up at the top it says off I'm going to show you guys it is off right now. You'll probably hear it click in a minute. 
Um, at the top, there's an off and on, the off that's lit up red. You could tap right next to it just like a physical button, and it would kick all of them on. Um, there, I just clicked. It's, it says it's on, and it definitely is on. And then I will go back in here, and you'll just have to listen for it. I just shut it back off. Even if it doesn't have a device in it, it still clicks like that. There. Works great. And then all of them at once. And I think that's it for the setup of that. It looks like the USBs are going to stay live. They're not going to be shut off, which is lame. Plug it in here and see what it does. Does the same thing. So there is no shutting that off. That's not good. Um, but it does put out a lot. I normally have a tester I plug in there to see how many, how much it's putting out, but um, not doing that. So once you get that done, if you set it up in your Google Home, we should have one called in here Desk and Light. And the light should not be put on anything. Like, here's my bathroom, bedroom, closet. This house has a lot of lights, and we don't even have them all smart bulbs. Um, porch, not used. Here we go. There's light. Okay, not used. That's not it. Here we go. Linked by you. Desk. And then desktop is my third one. I don't have, or my three. I don't have that on yet. And this is under Google Home. This is how you get Google to do it. There's if you want to turn on everything. I kind of put that in a don't touch. But then there's the light. And if you hear it, that should turn on the light that's right in front of me. Now watch. I'm going to use Google. Okay, I'll show you Google real quick. My Google is right there. Now I'll show you. Hey, Google. Turn on my desk light. Like those lights haven't been set up yet. Okay, give me a second. I actually, I actually messed up there. You need to put it in a room. I'm going to put it, um, let's just put it, no, not in the kitchen. He'll get really mad. Okay, we'll, we're putting it in the closet for now. <laughs> now, it, now it has a name and where it's at. Now if I tell her to do it, that'll come and turn on. Let's see if it still works. It still works. Here's if you use Google. Hey, Google, turn on my closet lights. Got it. Turning three lights on. Hey, Google, shut off my closet lights. Got it. There Turning we go. Three lights that works with Google. You do have the freaking heck. <laughs> um, you do have the manual way you can turn it on. And if you have an Android phone, you can also... Uh, do a widget where it will just be on your screen. Genie has, I don't really care for it, but there's the Genie one. Uh, you can do shortcuts, scene shortcuts, or device widget. Put that right there, bring it down, then set it up a little bit. Let me click on it. Okay, just open the app. Um, I'm not going to touch them because they are being used right now, but that'd turn on my fan. And my phone charger. Um, I think you can customize it somewhere where it puts it. Different ones go on there. Now, if I want to change the name under the light or under Google, I need to change this to desk light. Let that sit there for just a second. Um, I always kill my apps before I go back into them. I'm going to delete that. I don't really care for that too much. Um, go back into my Genie app. Oh, wrong app. Go into my Google Home app. And under here, it should have changed it to desk light. I think we put it in the closet. Closet. Look, desk light. Now when I hit that, you should hear it click again. There we go. Change, it updates it right away. Now, I think if you update it under here, change the name, I don't think it changes it under Google. Let's call it Light with that. There we go. Let, let's up, let it update. It updated. It's in the closet. 
um, I'll show you real quick. When you put this on your Google, you there's my email address. That's nice. Um, it'll say set up household. It'll be under here. You just click on here, and it'll be under here. It, mine pop right up. There's my Roku. It wants to connect my Xbox. Two yay. Link my XM. That don't even work right. You tell it to play a song, it goes right to YouTube, and then it's like. You gotta pay and then ugh, it gets all wild. Okay, now let's kill the Genie app and see if it updated the name under there. Loading Genie, it should be called Light with a bunch of things on it. And it, it lost its name. Oh, there's Desk Light. Turn it on, turn it off. Let's name it again, make sure it's still in sync. Let's call it Disk. Like a misspelling. On off. I'm gonna close the app again. I always have to close the app because I always do routines and they kind of mess up. Closet. And it should be called. It didn't update. But it still's clicking. There, I just turned it on. I think I, I think I made it mad. Yeah, I just like clicked 15 times. There we go. So that's the setup. Hopefully I answered everybody's Why do I keep doing it? Hopefully I answered everybody's questions. That just shuts it off. Surge. It doesn't have a little separate light like that one. Um, I hope it can do what I want it to do because them are always on. Um, let's see the reset. What it resets. I'm hitting the reset and it's still powering everything. Let's see if it um, reset the Wi-Fi on it. Nope, still connecting. So I think the reset is for the purpose of resetting a surge. If there was a surge in your house. And um, yeah, hopefully this video helps somebody out.